Hello and welcome. Today I will explain the data protector exploit on port 5555 without encrypted control communication. First, let's check the IP address from our domain controller, which is 192.168.133.200. We also have our data protector cell manager, and you can see that DC01 is not using encrypted control communication. In this test version, we use Data Protector 8.10, but version 7 and 9 is also vulnerable unless you upgrade it to the latest version. In Kali, we will set up this exploit with MSF console with exploit HP Data Protector Exec and Tech Util. This will only work if the host is not using encrypted control communication. So our target is a window machine, so we set the target to 1, which is Windows. If it would be Linux, then I would set the target to 0. The host is the IP address from our domain controller. Payload is a reverse PowerShell command, which is very unstable. If you would enter a couple of commands, then the domain controller would crash, so make sure you know what to type before you connect. Of course, we need to enter the IP address from the Kali machine as lhost. So now we have a shell connection to DC01. You see a PowerShell process on the DC01 which will not be detected to most antiviruses. So you see we have the system access, so we can create a domain administrator account by this command. Now we add it to the domain admin group. In Active Directory, we can see the account is created, so we can connect now with Remote Desktop to DC01. When we log off, we still have our shell and now we can delete our admin user.
If we exit our interpreter connection, we will see that the PowerShell process also exited. So as a solution, you can use encrypted control communication for every host and the cell manager, which will use a certificate for the communication. Please watch my second part for ECC connection, but make sure you have the right version of data protector because ECC is also vulnerable for some versions. I thank you for watching this video and please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to see more videos.